Falcons. This week we are creating art inspired by Dr. Martin Luther King. In January, we celebrate Dr. King's birthday. It is a national holiday. Dr. King was a civil rights leader and one of the most influential people of his time. And we are going to be honoring him this week by doing a project that is going to take us two days. We are going to be creating these beautiful, inspired by Dr. King pieces of art. And it involves words, his portrait, pattern, and color. And I just can't wait to get started with you. You are going to need the following for the first day of our project. A piece of paper, a pencil with an eraser, and a black marker. I always use a Sharpie. You will also need something to make a circle like we did in our radial um, symmetry project. You can use a compass, a plate, a bowl, a lid from a Tupperware, anything that will help you make a round circle. So gather your materials and join me. Let's get started, everyone. We have our sheet of paper, and we are going to have our sheet of paper go the landscape way, the long way. If we had our paper going this way, we would call that portrait, but we are going to actually have our paper going the landscape way. We are going to start by making a circle. I am going to use a compass to make my circle. It's just a fun, fast, easy way for me to make a circle, but you can use a plate, lid, bowl, any way that you can make yourself a circle. And this is going to be the base for Dr. King's head. So we are going to then add some ears. And we're going to add our nose. Eyes. I always like to add a pupil in that one little reflection spot when I'm doing eyes. But you can make the eyes any way you want. We're also going to add some eyebrows. some lips, and a feature that was very prominent on Dr. King, his mustache. From there, I'm also going to add a little bit of detail to make him look more realistic, and I am, of course, going to give him his black hair. I am then from there going to add his shoulders coming down and I can make two triangles like this to make a collar and create a tie for him to be wearing because he was a minister and often spoke in churches so he was always dressed pretty nicely. Behind Dr. King is where we're going to create that background. We're just going to use some wavy lines. No real rhyme or reason to what we do. Just create some wavy lines behind Dr. King. And in each of the sections, you can decide whether, whether you'd like, excuse me, to write some words or adjectives that describe Dr. King. You can always write something like this that he was famous for. He was famous for saying, I have a dream. We can add words like peace,
Other words that could describe him would be equality. He wanted people to be treated equally. Equality. Any positive word that you can think of to describe him. Love. Compassion. Thoughtful. Caring. There are many words that could be used to describe Dr. King. And you can choose whatever words you would like. In the other sections, you can create some line patterns just to give it a little flair of your own. Maybe you wanted to add some swirly lines. Really do something that makes this your own project. When you have finished with that, you are going to go over the entire pencil lines with black Sharpie. So that when you have finished, you will have your white paper with your entire piece of art done in black ink. That way you will be able to put it in a safe place and get it ready for our next lesson the next day. So make sure after you've finished sharpening your project that you put it into a safe place that you'll be able to find it for tomorrow's lesson when we get together for day two.